Okay, tonight, uh, today we're going to do perimeter problems. We will use perimeter and verbal equations to solve problems. The essential question is how will I use perimeter and verbal equations to solve problems? Perimeter is, measures the distance around an object. You need to make sure you know that. Around an object. If your object is a rectangle, then you can use the formula Q equals QL plus CW. When you do not have a formula, simply add all sides. You might want to pause right here and write all this down. In this first problem, the length of the rectangle is three inches more than the width. So I don't know what the width is, so the width is W. The length is three inches more than W, so it would be W plus three. The perimeter of the rectangle is 98, so here's how we do it. The perimeter formula for a rectangle is 2L plus 2W. I know the perimeter is 98. I know now that my length is W plus 3, so I substitute that in for L. I also know that my W is just W. Now. I'm going to solve this equation using the steps that we already know how to do. Distributive property here, take care of that parenthesis, so I get 98 equals 2w plus 6 plus 2w. Now I add my like terms, which is 2w plus 2w, which gives me 4w plus 6. 98 equals 4w plus 6. Now I put my brick wall up, subtract 6 from both sides, 4w on this side is what's left, so bring it down. On this side I get 92. Then I divide both sides by 4. Okay, so 4 divided by 4 is w, I mean cancels over here, and 92 divided by 4 is 23. So w is 23. In this case, we're talking inches, so my W is 23 inches. And my length, my L, is 23 plus 3, which is 26. And then you could uh, plug those numbers into the quadratic form, I mean, into the perimeter formula, not quadratic formula, that's algebra 2. And make sure you get 98. In this problem, the length of a rectangle is three times the width. So if my width is W, my length is 3W. And the perimeter is uh, 48. So back to my perimeter formula, 2L plus 2W equals perimeter. Perimeter is 48. 2 times L, which is 3W, plus 2 times W. Here I have to multiply first, so that's 6W plus 2w, collect like terms, which, which would be 2w plus 6w, which is 8w, and then I get 48 divided by both sides, because that would be the step of solving this one step equation now, w equals 6, so my width is 6 inches, and my length will be 18 inches, because 3 times 6 is 18. Uh, my 8's messed up. The length of the four sides of a trapezoid are as follows. The parallel bases have length of x. The parallel bases would be the top and the bottom here, and 2x plus 1. The legs, which is the other two sides that are not parallel, would be 2x minus 3, and they're both equal. And then my perimeter is 30, so I just simply add my sides. So I have x plus 2x minus 3 plus, oops, plus 2x plus 1 plus 2x minus 3 equals 30. I just started here and added all the sides up. So now I collect my like terms. So I have x, 2x, 2x, 2x. Everything's positive. So that's 2, 4, 6, 7x. This is the hot check.
So, um, sorry about that announcement. Now, my other like terms is negative 3, a positive 1, and a negative 3. Negative 3 plus negative 3 is a negative 6, plus 1 is a negative 5. Stop, Chris. Now I'm going to add 5 to both sides, because now I'll start moving things. i got my like terms collected. And I get 7x equals 35. Then I divide both sides by 7. x equals 5. So this side is 5. This side is 10 minus 3, which would be 7. This side is also 7, and this side would be 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. And that's that. All right, trying to keep this as short as possible. I have one more, two more examples, and then here's my three sides of my triangle, and you can put it on the sides. I would suggest you do that. doesn't really matter if you match up the right sides. 2x plus 7, 4x minus 3, and 3x minus 11. My perimeter is 119, so I have 2x plus 7 plus 4x minus 3 plus 3x minus 11, and all of that equals 119. My like terms are 2x, 4x, and 3x. That's 10x. My other like terms is 7 minus 3, which is 4, minus 11, which would be a, a negative 7, equals 119. Now I'll start moving things across the um, equal sign. So add 7 to both sides. 10x equals, let's see, 126. I'm going to pause it right there. Okay, you're about to hear one of my stupid um, students making his little noise. I'm going to divide both sides by 10, see? Let's see if you can get, I'll give you 10 points if you tell me who that is. But you have to be the first one to tell me. T X equals 12.6. When I divide, I get a decimal. So the length of the shortest side, um, which I'm not sure which one's the shortest side, so let me do that real quick. What? What's he doing? He He's going to get in trouble. He ran down and he ran back. Okay, so my answer is 26.8 because 3 times 12.6 minus 11 is 26.8 centimeters. So my shortest side is 26.8 centimeters. Answering the question, I had to find all sides to figure out which one was the smallest side, though. All right, so on this, I have a hexagon, and this is the last example. Uh, it's got three sides that are x plus 4, so three of the sides are equal, and they're x plus 4. And then the other three sides are also equal, and they're x minus 5. Now, this will be kind of long to write out, so what I'm really going to do is just add all the x's, so I have six x's. If this confuses you, you may want to write it all out. I have three negative five, so negative five plus negative five plus negative five would be a negative 15. Then I have four plus four plus four, which is a positive 12, and that gives me a negative three. And that's equal to 93. Then I put my brick wall up, add three to both sides. Six X equals 96, divide both sides by six and x equals 16. So three of my sides would be 16 plus um, 4, which is 20. And then three of my sides is 16 minus 5, which is uh, 11. So these and it might not be these exact sides, but you get the idea. So the question is, what's my longest side? So it would be 20. Sorry. 20 inches. And that's that for this video. See you next video. See you in class.